Hi everyone, this is Lisa from Cookery Nation. Today we're going to be making mashed potatoes, but we're going to be making mashed potatoes with a bit of a twist. Uh, it, until recently, I always made mashed potatoes using potatoes and boiling water. I don't do it that way anymore. Now I steam my potatoes and that has a couple of really good benefits. It allows the potatoes not to absorb too much water and what too much water in your potatoes does, it makes gummy mashed potatoes. So I'm going to show you the trick for steaming your potatoes when you want to make mashed potatoes. Let's get to the stove and get started. Now in order to steam our potatoes, what we're going to need is we're going to need a pot to hold some water and we're going to need a colander. And that's just a pot that has holes in the bottom. Now if you don't have one that nests nicely on here, you may find that you can get um, you can get ones, let me see if I have one. Here we are. These little guys you can fit into the bottom of a saucepan no problem. You just fit it in there and have the water just come to the bottom. So there's lots of options if you don't have one of these guys that actually fit into the pot. So to prep our potatoes, we peel them. And some people like to leave the peel on, that's fine as long as you clean them really well. And you cut them. And you don't need to have them very um, small or very, very large, I'm sorry. Uh, you can cut them about this size and that's fine. That'll make them cook a little bit faster. Uh, just make sure they're all about the same size. What I like to do is once they're all cut up, I let them sit in cold water for about 10 minutes. And what this does is it allows a lot of the starch to come out. I use russet potatoes because they're really, really good for mashed potatoes. And on the website, we have an article all about the different kinds of potatoes and their best uses. So definitely check it out. So once the potatoes have sat in the water for a few minutes, you drain them off. For our steamer, we're going to take some water and fill the bottom. Now, the only thing we don't want to have happen is we don't want the water coming up through the holes of the steamer. So whatever kind of steamer you use, just make sure that there's at least an inch of water in the bottom, but that it's not coming up through the holes of your steamer. So we're going to put this in there. We're going to quickly drain off our potatoes. And we're going to dump them into the pan. Now, unlike boiled potatoes, we're not going to salt these ahead of time. We're just going to let them cook. We're going to add the salt and the butter and things like that after they're done cooking. This will take about 25 minutes. And I recommend that you use about one potato per person that you're serving. So we're going to put this on high because we want this water in the bottom to be boiling. We want lots of steam to be produced and make sure you put the lid on. And you just let it go for about 20 minutes and then we're going to check it. Okay, so it's been about 25 minutes that our potatoes have been steaming. So what we're going to do is we're going to have a look. And what we're looking for is for them to fall apart really easily. And you barely have to give them any pressure and they just come apart. That's when you know that they're done. So these are done. What we're going to do is we're going to make sure that we protect our hands. And we're going to set this aside and we're going to dump out this water because we're going to need the pot. Okay, make sure the heat is off. Now, we're going to transfer the potatoes into the pot. Okay, so now we've got the potatoes in the pot and we're going to add our butter 
Now use about two tablespoons of butter for this. Drop in the butter and our milk. So this is about a quarter of a cup, just over a quarter of a cup. And I measured out a half a cup so that if I need more, I can use a little bit more. And we're going to use a quarter of a teaspoon of garlic powder and a quarter of a teaspoon of salt. And what I like to do is I like to give it just a quick stir first. Get all of the, get the butter underneath the potatoes, get it started melting. And then we're going to use our potato masher. And I just use a regular masher. I don't put it in the food processor, blender, or whatnot. You just need a masher. Butter is melted. And we just mash it up. And you'll notice that it's not gummy. It's not turning into a paste or gluey. And it looks like I've got enough milk. So I used about a quarter of a cup. And if you like your potatoes a little bit more creamy, add a little bit more milk. That's all you need to do. Now our garlic powder is nice, mixed in nicely to the potatoes, as is the salt. And they mash actually really nice and quickly. So that is all there is to it. So we're going to just take this off and we're going to transfer it into a bowl. There we go. Transfer this into our bowl. And I like my potatoes to have a little bit of body to them so that they're not too thin and too smooth, but I want them to be fluffy. So this method works beautifully for that. There we go. And then if you want, of course we have our sink full of water. And then if you want to prettify them, you just put a little bit of par dried parsley on top. And there are your potatoes. So that's all there is to making mashed potatoes, but steaming instead of boiling. Now, when it comes to the flavors you want to use, I just use butter and salt and a little bit of garlic. Uh, add other flavors if you like. Switch it up, make it interesting. But I think you'll notice that steaming your potatoes instead of boiling creates the fluffiest mashed potatoes. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, let us know in the comments below. Come and visit us at cookerynation.com and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.